The appeal of solo sailing is you get away from bureaucracy, stupid health and safety rules, the tax man doesn't know where to find you, and you've got no, no crew problems. You know, single-handed sailing isn't just about tactics and the best boat. It's about that little imp on your back that says, I can't leave the boat like this, it's not sailing properly. It could sail faster or you're overpressing it. It's the person who leaps up to deal with the boat all the time. He's probably got as good a chance as a good tactician. Uh, solar sailing's changed incredibly and it's due to one thing, satellites. Now you can have constant communications. I don't think that's necessarily an advantage. Um, you've got navigation the whole time. You can download weather. And without that weather information, you're, you're going to lose against others who've got it. So it's become, in that respect, much more technical. One of the great joys of modern communications is you can watch what the others are doing. Therefore, you can see if they've got more wind than you. And that would affect some of your decisions. You want to be where the wind's favourable. The Route de Rame is a very interesting French race, which was really developed as an answer to the British O-Star. runs from St. Malo to the French West Indies. And it's single-handed. It gets about 80 inches, which is huge. And it's a massive event in France. And the reason I'm doing it, I did it back in 82, the second time it was run. And it was just such a fun race. Uh, it's very well organized. And Guadeloupe's a nice place to visit. So I thought, oh, nothing much to do this autumn. Race is over, I need some time off. I'll go and relax sailing. My boat's not a new one, which is a tough little boat. I won't beat the new boats, or shouldn't, because they're faster, they're newer designs, they're lighter. But, you know, their problem is if anything breaks on them, they know I'll be right behind them. A slightly challenge, yeah. Um, well, the Bay of Biscay could be interesting in November, but if it blows up and gets rough, the others won't like it, so that consoles me. Um, well, of course I'd expect a smooth, uh, I prefer a, a smooth passage, but you know, when things uh, get a bit difficult and unexpected, that's when it's tougher for the others. Well, a day is 24 hours, and when you're racing single-handed, there is no such thing as a typical day because it depends on the weather. You can be up for eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, or you might be having a nice easy time catching up on some sleep. So there's no such thing as a typical day. I try and eat in a regular manner though, and I try and get as much sleep as I can, as is safe. I'm not a believer in this modern attitude of 20 minute batches of sleep, I think it's stupid. All I've seen is people getting irritable and tired, and that's when they tend to pull out because they haven't, because they're tired. It's easier to pull out than to crack on and deal with the problem. I think inevitably you look at a youngster age 30 and say he's going to be more agile than I am. But then I've been around longer and got more experience. Um, if I had the choice, I think I'd probably choose agility and drop 40 years, but can't do that. So I have to choose experience and hope it works. Um, very little. It's nice to chew something. It's nice to have a steak occasionally. Most of the food's soft, but apart from that, there's not very much you do miss. Well, I might have the odd dram. It uh, cheers me up in the evening. Other boats going faster than me. I think I was down below working on the engine on Suheli, and I heard the sound like a steam train letting off steam. And the hair went up because I was a thousand miles from New Zealand heading towards Cape Horn. And I knew there were no steam engines around. And I leapt up on deck and there was a blue whale. It obviously just come to the surface and was blowing. And that was a phenomenal sight. Mind you tiptoe past it because it weighs 100 tons. My boat weighed 10. And if it got amorous, I was not in a good place. Well, in the old days, you're inspired by, frankly, the background of being a British sailor. People like Drake, Cook, Nelson. These are the people I grew up being inspired by. I think these days, I've been sailing for so long, I don't sort of need that quite so much. Um, what inspires me, actually, as much as anything, is the competition in the race itself. Well, probably, knowing Guadeloupe, the first thing that will be thrust into my hand is a glass of rum, so I should probably drink it. <laughs> <laughs>